A low maintenance landscape is filled with healthy plants that also help keep water where it falls. This is the first step in reducing the risk of basement flooding, standing water in your yard, protecting our lakes and streams, and improving water quality. Here are seven steps you can take when designing and managing your landscape to accomplish this goal. Get started right away collecting rainwater that falls on the roof before it has a chance to flood your yard or enter the storm sewer. Capture it with a rain barrel to use for watering gardens and containers. This century-old technique helps conserve water and reduce water pollution. Start with a call to your local municipality. Some have restrictions on water harvesting, but most encourage this practice and some even offer rebates. Start your conversion to rain barrels one downspout at a time. You can capture more than 600 gallons of water from one inch of rain falling on a typical roof. As you master this new habit, install additional rain barrels so you can maximize the amount of rainfall captured. Make your rain barrel an attractive addition to the landscape. Paint it into a piece of garden art or screen it with fencing or an attractive planting. Just make sure you can still easily access the water for your containers and gardens. Make sure the soil slopes away from the foundation of your home, directing the water from rain and snowmelt away from the first five to 10 feet around your house will help reduce the risk of basement flooding. Make sure at least four inches of the concrete or stone foundation is visible and the soil level drops one inch for every foot you move away from the house. Soil is the foundation for a healthy, beautiful and productive garden and landscape. Incorporating organic matter such as compost into the soil improves the growing conditions for your plants and increases the soil's ability to absorb water, reducing the risk of flooding and pooling in the lawn. This means less water runs off your landscape and into the storm sewers and nearby waterways. Keep soil covered with grass, plants, or mulch to protect it from compaction and erosion. Healthy lawns, ground covers, and gardens help hold soil in place during a rainstorm. In addition, plants slow down the water, allowing it to soak into the soil so less ends up in our storm sewer. The plants, their roots, and soil help filter dust and impurities out of the water before it enters our groundwater and waterways. And plants help create a cool space for us to enjoy. Gardens filled with native plants do even more to help keep water where it falls. Their leaves and stems slow water, and native plants' deep roots create pathways for water to enter the soil. When old roots are replaced with new ones, they add organic matter deep in the soil. And when water travels down through those openings, many of the impurities are removed. As always, when planting a garden, make sure the native plants you select will fit the available space and thrive in the growing conditions. Consider bloom time to ensure season-long color and look for those with fall and winter interest. You'll also enjoy the beneficial insects, birds, and wildlife native plants attract while providing color and additional beauty for us to enjoy. We all learn the many benefits trees provide when celebrating Arbor Day as children. Trees clean the air, release oxygen for us to breathe, and provide shade that helps keep our homes and us cooler. But you may not know the positive impact even one tree can have on stormwater management. As rain falls onto a tree, the leaves and stems help slow down the rainwater. Some of that water is captured in the leaf canopy and eventually evaporates back into the atmosphere. The rest travels down the trunk and branches at a much slower speed than the rainwater that lands directly on the soil. This slower rate of travel allows the soil to absorb more of the rainfall, so less runs off into the street and storm sewer. Rain gardens are designed and situated in a landscape to collect water running off roofs, walks, drives, and the lawn before reaching the storm sewer. Proper planning will increase the effectiveness and beauty of your rain garden. Placement is important so water moves away from your house and drains properly through the garden. Design your rain garden just like you would other gardens in the landscape. Start with a plan, commit to doing soil preparation, and select plants suited to all the other growing conditions in your area. Check with your local municipality for any restrictions or possible rebates related to installing rain gardens. 
Rain gardens require special attention to soil preparation to ensure that water doesn't linger too long in the garden during rainy periods or need additional irrigation during dry weather. Plants that tolerate flooding and drought are a must for these gardens that experience both conditions throughout the growing season. Keeping water where it falls means you can put excess rainfall to work where and when you need it. And putting it to work in your landscape means you'll help reduce the risk of flooded basements and stormwater overflows. Plus, you'll be doing your part to help reduce pollution of our lakes and waterways and improve water quality.